hasn't been a delightful day anywhere. And the reason is the map is lousy with lows. Now, yesterday there was one here and one here. They've converged, and in effect, the larger has swallowed the smaller, and there's the low at the moment. And this is the frontal setup as a result of the low, with the cooler air coming in this way, the warmer this way, and of course, the continuation of the swirl here. And the area of action of this low is tremendous. It includes a good part of all of Ontario, a good part of Quebec, and all of the adjacent American states. That leaves the high pressure here out in the east, governing the weather there and producing clear and cold weather over the east and the northeast. And with hardly a ridge of high in here, although there are temperatures of 35, the next low is coming along. The Genesis was one here, one here, and they're converging in that direction. This fellow is now here with the fronts like that, cooler air ready to swipe down upon us. And this one, having come down in convoy with this one just about here, and they're both racing like mad. And you have northwesterly winds, southerly winds, easterly and southeasterly winds like that. And that area of action is even greater than this and more violent. You have a, a very tightly wound up storm that covers all of western Canada, as you see. And that's strong winds, 60 mile an hour winds from BC across the prairies, and no matter what direction they're coming from, and over the Northland and gusts. And all of that is filled with snow and blow, and the temperatures run at about 35 in this sector. Around 30 here, but then what's going to happen is this slides down as the cold air is going to come down with a 20, so Alberta and western Canada is going to suffer a sharp drop in temperature. Now, instead of this moving east, as you'd normally expect, the upper air flow is from the north. The jet dips down like this, curves up in our direction. So we forecast this complex to come down and be about here within striking distance of us tomorrow, curve around and be exactly in that spot, more or less, two days from now.